Hey, so this is a follow-up to the butternut squash seed germination video. I tried three different techniques. Look, here's some success. Um, one thing you'll notice is that the roots are upside down, like on this guy. I've seen this before. And uh, I believe what causes it is that you have a very moist, humid environment, and so the roots are able to pull from the air. And they try going down, and then they can't. And so they do the next best thing and go straight up. <laughs> uh, seeds and plants can sense gravity, so they normally grow downward. But it hits this plastic, and then it can't grow down. So you get this. <laughs> um, that's okay. I just put them right side up, and they'll probably be fine. So this... Kind of works, but, you know, having the paper squares in there didn't do anything, so. <laughs> um, Alright. So here's the one that I had sitting upright. You know, it also works, but similarly, having the paper in there didn't really change anything, and also they shift themselves around as the root grows. So, yes, most of them are up and down correctly, but uh, they also, you know, it wasn't nice and organized like I had it, so I could have just thrown them in there randomly. While I was monitoring this, oh, it's hard to see. I, uh, it's easier to see off camera. Anyways, uh, while I was monitoring this, it was very obvious that the bag method was working much better than both the container methods. Um, I don't remember there being this much air in there. Hmm. Well, anyways, yeah, they they like this method more. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. It just works better. I did see online about someone who used perlite in a bag instead of a piece of paper. So the roots and stuff would be easier to pull off. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that. That seems good. You won't be able to see the roots growing as much, but, I mean, look, I waited way too long for this, so it's pretty obvious these are ready to go. Um, they also mixed a very small amount of uh, hydrogen peroxide in with their stuff to combat any chance of mold or stuff that would infect the seeds. That seems like a good idea. I'm not sure if I'll do it or not, though. Besides these, all I've got are, we've got, that's a root, there's one more, it, it gets real hard to see once the uh, temperature difference in the room makes the, I mean these are, these are normally under my water bed so it's nice and warm, so when I pull them out there's a temperature difference and it makes all the water condensate on the top here. But yeah, there's two goji berries in there, and nothing from the from the uh, passion fruit. These seeds might be dead. I don't know. Maybe it takes a very long time. Maybe they need a uh, cold period to trigger their growth, like being in the refrigerator. Some seeds are like that. Uh, redbud seeds are like that, and. Apple seeds are supposed to be like that, but they'll they'll work either way. I think they just do better if they have a period of cold. But uh, yeah, so good seeds, real good seeds. I still have a bunch of these saved uh, up up in my seed collection.